chance to film much this morning. My breakfast was a burrito with ham and cheese and egg for three smart four three smart points. Hey we forgot to put the hot sauce on it. No wonder it tasted funny. I forgot I, I forgot my hot sauce. So I only have three points for breakfast. And now we're going home to let Luna out and then get some lunch at Chick-fil-A. And then we're gonna be heading back to Harry Potter World. Some Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich with lettuce, tomato, some ranch, and then the 12-piece grilled chicken. Got an acid pop. It's pretty darn sour. Pretty darn sour. I didn't get one of those though. The three broomsticks having fish and chips and a frozen butter beer. Chris having shepherd pie. Nick's having fish and chips. And we're at the three broomsticks. Getting kind of tired of Chick-fil-A and so I am making chili tonight. We didn't stay till closing from the parks. We got home at like seven o'clock instead of eight or nine so I decided to make some chili and this is what we're gonna have for lunch tomorrow instead of Chick-fil-A. Good evening guys. I kind of lazed out on recording today. My whole video before this was like under three minutes long. So yeah, I, it was so hot today. Wasn't it hot today? Yes, it was. Oh my gosh. It, but by the time we were ready to leave the park at six o'clock, we, we couldn't stay any longer because our feet hurt so bad. After three days of constant walking, I got over 21,000 steps and I'm going to be getting some more because I got to take Luna out for a walk tonight yet. So I'll be getting some more. Corey just went to bed. We, by the time we were done and we were leaving the, the park, it was still 89 degrees and the sun was down. 89 degrees, that's, that's insane. I don't know how you people live in Florida. I don't know how you people live in Florida. I wanna go back to Wisconsin where it snows and where it's colder, don't you? Yeah, and also the traffic is crazy. Oh, the traffic is so crazy. Holy cow, we're not used to traffic like this. So anyway, what I wanted to tell you guys is that when you go to Gringotts, you can get some money. Well, let me interrupt you there. It's also, it's not Gringotts where you go. There's a certain shop. You'll have to look it up. I don't remember the name of it offhand. But you have to go to a certain shop. It's not actually Gringotts, I don't think. But there is like a little room you have to go into which will show it which will um, you can exchange money at for wizarding money okay so you can exchange real money for wizard wizardry wizarding money wizardry, wizarding. wizardry money and you get this little cardboard it's it's pretty it's pretty um stiff cardboard it's actually kind of nice and then they put your money in here and on the back it has that Ooh, wait. So I think that's pretty cool. So that's what the money looks like on the back. It just says 10, that's $10 American money. They also have 20s. Do they have 50s, Tito? Um, I don't think. I, I, I think they only have 20s and 10s. I know they don't have fives and ones. So when you cash, cash that in, let's say you're you're getting butterbeer and it's like $8 and something, because that's about what butterbeer costs after taxes and everything. 
they give you one dollar bill back for cash or for change so I was kind of disappointed about that I wanted to take one dollar green got money back home with me for a souvenir but they don't have ones they only have tens the lowest they have is tens like Corey says I'm sure they do that on purpose but we decided that we needed to spend some wizarding money so that's we have ten dollars left to spend and we're gonna spend it tomorrow not tomorrow we're gonna spend it Thursday, Thursday. We only were supposed to have two days at Universal, but it was cheaper to get the five day than the two day. So Corey went ahead and got the, the five day. So we're not gonna be able to use two of those days, which really stinks, but at least we'll be able to decide whether or not we wanna to go to Disney or Universal. And we'll probably spend half a day in Disney and then the rest of the, the half a day in Universal. Nick and I really like Universal a lot. And then we decided to get one of the pictures that they had. This one was of the Spider-Man ride. We went on a lot of rides today, actually. It was really fun. Yes, we did. We went on Kong. I don't remember the name. King, King Kong. It wasn't called King Kong. It was just the Adventures Kong or something like that. But we went on Kong. We went on Spider-Man. We went on... What else did we go on? Jurassic? No, we didn't. No, we didn't, we'll we didn't go on Jurassic Park. Me and Dad are doing that next. So you're going to do that tomorrow? No, next Thursday. Oh, oh that's right. Not next Thursday, Thursday. We went on Men in Black. Which was... That I, was a fun ride. It was fun. I didn't really like it, though. It was kind of no? boring. It wasn't too as What exciting. was your favorite one today? I'd say the Kong one. Yeah, and he, he didn't want to go on that one with us. So he had us go on alone, and then he went off to Harry Potter land and waited there for us. And then we told him he needed to go on it because it was really fun. It was so much fun. They had the hugest screens, and it was a 3D ride, so it wasn't, like, crazy scary. Or it didn't, like, it had dizzy warnings on it, but I didn't get dizzy at all. Well... Thing is, with the 3D glasses, even if you take them they off, they give you can, 3D glasses. Yeah, they'll give you like some sort of glasses. Well, they say it's eye protection, but of course it's like 3D glasses and stuff. But if you take off the 3D, I don't know why I took off my glasses. But if you take off the 3D glasses, or like look down, because you shouldn't actually take them off. So, but if you look down and look out, like if like look down so you can see out of the glasses, you can still see everything. It's so mm -hmm. weird. Yeah, it is weird. It just doesn't come flying at you unless you have the glasses on. So this is our picture from the Spider-Man. There it is. So that's our picture. I'm not sure why we're all looking that way. I think something was going on on that side and I think that's where the light came from because I see everybody's looking over there. So I don't know. We. It was the only picture we got, so we thought, why not? We'll, we'll get some little tiny ones. It was like 16 bucks or something. I don't know. Kind of expensive. For it was expensive for little tiny pictures, yeah, but they're good memories, and we wanted to get at least one. So we also got two other things. Well, right now we'll show you this. I got a bracelet. This has my name on it. I think this was near the Kong ride. Yeah, that's really cool. I like that one. Some colors and stuff. We also got in Diagon Alley. We got the Gryffindor. I got the Gryffindor like keychain that has my name on it as well. Yeah, it has his name on it. I thought that was really cool. And then they gave us this this huge thing for those tiny little pictures. I thought that was kind of funny. So that's all we got today. We got a much. lot more yesterday. We got a lot more yesterday. We're going to get probably a lot more tomorrow. I'm getting my shirt Thursday. tomorrow. I still haven't gotten my sh Thursday. Because we, Nick and I both decided that the majority of our money will be spent at Harry Potter Land. Because we like the stuff there. And I need a shirt from there yet. I still haven't gotten my shirt. So, yeah. I found one online that I like. Which is like, oops, funny. What does it say again? Something about ask man. It's like do not approach this person. <laughs> I like I just escape from ask. Say, yeah, something. It'll say somewhere around here. 
Yeah, we'll look it up and see what it says. I found a little Dobby one that Luna always reminds me of Dobby, the little elf. She always reminds me of Dobby because of her little ears. So I found a little Dobby shirt, t-shirt that I might get, but I really want a sweatshirt too. So maybe I'll get a t-shirt and a sweatshirt. That'll be the rest of my gifts and maybe one more cup because I got this cup. I, I love this cup. I love it. I use it every morning now since we've been here. And then we got the Ravenclaw cup. I Which, think I showed you that yesterday. Yes, you did, but we'll show it to you again. Yeah, it's really cute. I like that one. Corey used that one today. So we had a blast, though. It was a lot of fun. I think my favorite Wyatt ride was the Kong ride as well today. So we went on, what, four rides? Four or five rides today? I mean, Corey went on the Kong one twice because we had to make him go on it. Yeah, when you get in, you get in this big... Um, it's like a safari um, cart so it's huge it's like humongous you you're, you don't get strapped down or anything you just sit on this big bench inside this little safari cart and you go through and it's really bumpy and stuff but it's a lot of fun it's, it's really a lot of fun I recommend that ride to anybody it's probably a how long the car yeah is. it's really long it's a long car it's like a safari car and it's really big and tall but we had a great time today Except for the traffic and the heat. The heat can just go away. Oh Plus my goodness. when you're wear, wearing a Harry Potter robe. It is. Yeah, he was trying to wear his Harry Potter robe. It was way too hot. He wore it some of the time, but then some of the times he didn't. And I'm going to share some pictures next here too. We got a picture of him in front of the castle, which really turned out good. I really like it. We might actually have to print that and put it on our wall or something. Just do that one as a diamond dart. That would be a good idea. Are you still enjoying the butterbeer? Yes. The frozen butterbeer is still probably the best. We tr Oh, we tried the butterbeer ice cream. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I kind of liked it. It's probably second. I like the butterbeer more than the ice cream, but the ice cream yes. was still really good. I like both butter beers, the yeah. the cold and the frozen. They're both good, but but the cold you go through way too fast. Yes. You like drink it right down, no, and then it's the gone. Normal. You mean the, the normal, normal. Yes. the cold one, and the no. frozen one you have to take no. your time because you get brain freeze big yes. time. I don't for some reason. Yeah, he can drink his right down. I don't know <laughs> how. And I'm like, take two sips, and I'm like, oh my head, <laughs> and take two sips again, oh my head. I so I have to drink it really slow. I, and it's funny because I'll stand up for a second. It's funny because there's a it's a is it called a keg? Yeah, like a a mug keg kind of thing. So this is what it looks like. We probably showed it in the last video, but this is what it looks like. Yeah, I and we have the. Right the we have another one too. So it's kind of funny because so when you're drinking butter beer, it literally kind of looks like beer. So yeah, just, it looks like beer. Just chugging beer, and I yeah. can chug it. <laughs> and it's got a really big, a really um. Yes, my hand. A is... foam head on it, like that thick, and it's all like butterscotch flavor. It's so delicious. Ten points for a glass like this. We looked it up. They had the nutrition information. Corey figured it out and it was 10 points per cup, which wasn't terribly bad. We really thought it was going to be like 40 points per cup. So we were really happy and pleased that it was only 10. We're still way over our weekly, so. They, they were telling me I should be in Slytherin today because I was being naughty. Oh, so, okay. So you want me to explain this? Yeah, Nick can explain. Basically, there was a water ride, I don't remember what it was called, but people go down like this giant hill and they'll come around like a corner, and basically you can buy tokens, so there's like a dollar for two and twelve for like, maybe it was twelve tokens for like ten or something, something like that. So basically you get a token and there's like these little water things down. Water pistols, they're yes, called. or something like that. Well, I don't know, I didn't look at the names, but... So basically there are the water guns down by the river and there are two lanes so you can just turn, they'll turn, the cart will turn. I'm not going to explain things, I'm sorry. <laughs> so they basically have that and they'll have the water guns, there's like seven, eight, no it's like ten I think. Yeah, one through ten, they're numbered. 
So you can choose the water gun that you want. And I picked the corner one because it kind of was seven. aiming this way. And it, it was like right next to the people's faces that came down this boat. And there's like this lane here and then there's a lane over here. And this lane is the one I was aiming at and my water pistol was right here. So when these people come around, I sprayed the water and it went right into their faces and I was just having a blast doing that. And I'm like... She, she said she can spend all I day. I could spend all day there just spraying people in the face with the water gun. Because, She's in Slytherin. Yeah, they said, they said I'm in Slytherin. And then the funny part was Nick put his coin in and he was just a little bit shy of spraying the water. So he missed the first guy in the cart and he got all the girls behind him. And so the guy was laughing so hard because he missed him, but got all the girls and the girls were just like, oh my God. <laughs> They, was, they were not expecting it. They weren't expecting it at all. They were so they're shocked. Like, oh, really? these things are broken. They thought all the water spraying was over. They were already wet. And then here comes this pistol right in the face of water. But it's so weird because they're all lined up. They're like, is this thing going to... I mean, I would be thinking, like, is this thing going to go? Or are we going to get <laughs> shot in the face of water? And then, But if you if you walk past and done the talking to you, no. So you know what to expect. Mm-hmm. Only the evilest of people will do it. I mean, yeah, it was so much we fun. Had an extra token. We had an extra token, and it was so much fun. And the guy was laughing so hard in that boat. That made us laugh really hard because he loved not getting sprayed in the face, but then the girls got all sprayed. <laughs> I thought that was pretty darn funny, too. That was a good aim, Nick. Nick just got out of the shower. We're going to close up the video here. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already and be sure to share this if you think anybody may enjoy this channel. You have anything to add, Nick? Bye. <laughs> Bye. See you guys tomorrow. You recorded it. <laughs>